All right, everybody's caught up after we just finished the hillbilly story. Okay. You got this one. Okay. There we go. Just because you can pull a lever doesn't mean you should. <laughs> Our intrepid trio may not give this kind of seismic meddling a second thought, but choices have consequences. I've played host to more truth seekers than any human would care to count, and I know an omen when I see it. <laughs> Trust me, this is ominous. Ominous? Omen? Ominous. Yeah. The omen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ominous. Uh, oh, never mind. Everybody gonna catch up to me? Who are you? Was it you that caused that cave-in? I know it was. Now my three mine cars is trapped in these caverns and caves. You'll bring those mine cars back if you know what's good for you. Even this dynamite <laughs> will convince you. I need all three of those mine cars back, you hear? <laughs> oh, that's not good. More dynamite where this came from. Oh dear. How am I supposed to bust through those cave-ins? I need my stuff. Bring me my stuff. I need it. The bucket didn't blow up. Uh, I saw some water back there. Do we need well, to fill this up? Well, you know what up? they say. It wasn't the prospectors who made all the money. It was the merchants who sold blood pressure medication. <laughs> they do say that. Uh, there's the team. Alright, let's fill up the water. Into the bucket. Oh, a little too much of a drop there. Do we still have our water? Who are yes, you anyway? Nice. Wait, no. Bring back my mind. Get out of my mind. Wait, no. Help me. <laughs> Alright, so we can relight these as we need to. Like right here. I gotta say, our hillbilly friend has taken heartbreak quite well. Oops. Except for that. Let's see what we got over here. Another claw game? Sniff. So, the old miner's instincts were right. Huh? There is a mine car trapped back here. He may have overreacted a bit, but at a certain age, you've got to do something that gets you up in the morning. Even if what gets you up in the morning is a dangerous lack of interpersonal skills and anger management issues. A never ending supply of dynamite. <laughs> Trying again. Oh my god. They really want to kill their parents. Starting to uh, second guess our decision to bring the. I think we need a friend. Bring the twins, except right now I need them. Uh, now I need. I need the monk, because he's up here. See here. All right. You hold on to that. Cool. Is that going to go on its own? Guess it likes what we loaded it with. And there she goes. Through the twists and turns. My gold! I thought you was gone for good. Time to get down to some serious hoard. <laughs> He's very excitable, that man. Alright. That's good. Let's uh get out of here. Two more carts. Coming, monk. Guess I gotta go get another stick of dynamite from that man. Still got my bucket of water. Sound out? 
Unless that was me on the rope. It sounded like the monk was coming back to that general area. It's a destroyed can of corn. You get me those gall darn mine cars. <laughs> like that guy's voice especially for some reason. Eh, Monk might still be over to the right there. Alright, here's another one. And I'm assuming another... There we are, another barrier. Let's see if we can do this one ourselves. Oop. Another Monk story bit. Lack of balance. Hmm. I mean, that's gotta be hard. Oh, there's the cart. All right, we need more weight. Everybody, rendezvous with the hillbilly. Saw a TARDIS buried in the, uh, the rock there. All right, got that. So let's see. There's, this one's full of meat. And where are we ultimately trying to get this? Is it up? Yeah, we gotta get it up. Um. How much weight do we need? Do we need to bring the monk in here too? That's not budging. Is it? Oh, it's because the twins were on it. Okay. We can't move. Yeah, it's looking like we need that monk. Come on, man. Or he's over here. I like the controls, pretty smooth, pretty fluid. And it's certainly, as I think I said in the opening, a very novel approach to the, uh, to the genre. All right, double this up, and now it's all even. All right, so now we just gotta flip flop here. It's not the fastest way I could have done that. My brain, you know, gets twisted. All right, let's weigh this, and then okay. Guess I just. Need to balance, counterbalance it for a second. Do that. <laughs> and then weigh this and we'll be good to go. Jeez. All right. Cool. Got your meat. Meat and gold. My fiddles, feller can build up a powerful hunger down here. I'm gonna roast me up some canaries. Now see here, I still needs me my last mine car, Dag Nebbit. No one might have the ladies, the cave ladies. Man can get awful lonely down in these caves. Gotta have your gold. Gotta have your vittles. You gotta have your... Did I come in this way? Yeah. Alright, so I'm assuming there's one last one up there. So let's make the long track back. To get one last stick o dynamite. Alright. I ain't gonna tell you again. 
Get me my three mine cars. Okay, I will tell you again. Get me my three mine cars. Oh, that reminds me of like a South Park voice or something. Hill Billy, I like the way you wear that hat. Don't mind that. Technically, I'm using the, uh, the Game Pass streaming to play this. So far, it's been pretty reliable. All right, is this the last wall that we have? Yes, sir, Bob. Can I do this one alone? Probably not. Oh, another story here. Oh, it's one of mine. We get more details. It's childhood best friend. Aww. Where's the part where I join the circus and fall in love with the two-legged lady and then she leaves me for the man with normal strength? Still hurts. Just a normal minecart? I like it. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Wait. No! Ah, I want to ride in it. Are we good? What? Excuse me? I guess we need to be riding in it. There we go. Nope. Missed it. Will this have enough force to go on its own? No. They really love to grab on to something if they can. Completely missed it. Do I need something to hit that? There was a shovel back at the start next to the exploded can of corn. Do I need that shovel to give ourselves a little extra reach? Possibly. And again, what is that corn for? So many questions. There's the TARDIS. All you Doctor Who fans out there. No doubt excited for the return of David Tennant. Let's see if I can't find the. Yep. Now you gotta make it good. Now you gotta make it good. I've been here so long, I just want my stuff back. Maybe it was the same voice actor did a voice in uh, the. Get what either of those South Park games were called, but I know there, there was like the Stick of Truth or something like that, and then the something Butthole, I don't really remember. <laughs> something juvenile, but the games themselves were pretty good. Alright, let's try this again now that we got a little bit more hillbilly reach. Time it right. There we go. Change the tracks. Cool. Here it is, a special empty mine. Car. <laughs> can't have enough empty mine cars. Guess that's true. Oh, look at that. Those mine cars meant the world to that old guy. Maybe a reward is in order, hmm? Yeah. Oh, uh, we might just need a little extra weight. Where's my friends? I oh, hear they are. 
Oh no! Jump! Oh! <laughs> what about the vittles? Miner wasn't such a bad guy. He was down here a long time, and that'll take its toll. Mm -hmm. Obtaining the thing you desire most isn't always as hard as it's made out to be, but it will change you. And that, my friends, is what's hard. Another instance where I gotta hold my breath. I guess they custom make all these depending on which character type you take. Like, I can't imagine this particular thing would be in, you know, if we didn't have the hillbilly. Years later, there's our job at the carnival. So we're all bummed at first. We're just doing our job. We're just like, ugh. And then I bet in the next one we'll see the most beautiful woman we've ever laid two eyes on. The woman with two legs. And our whole life changed. Oop, I feel like I could have made that jump. That's fine. I feel a caution is in order, for we are about to enter a very grim part of our journey this evening. Grim not because of the atrocity we are about to witness, but because of who is going to commit it. I speak of those darling children, uh -oh. the twins. Uh -oh. Watch, but don't be afraid to avert your eyes. Especially if you yourself are a parent. And you enjoy making soup. <laughs> this is gonna get dark, huh? Oh, uh, we gotta use our ability here. There we go. No? Maybe it only lasts for a second. All right, so we'll put you there. We'll put you there. We'll put you here. Hold on to that. There we go. You don't want to know the building permit hell I went through to build that thing down here. <laughs> it does have walk-in closets. It's those small touches that make the difference when it comes time to put it on the market. Yeah, there's a lot going on in this cave. Not gonna lie. Oh. What's this here? I'm terribly sorry, loves. I can't let you go out and play with your friends until you've had your supper. Your mum's making your favorite. <laughs> Sausage and tater soup. Yum. Sounds good. Hi, Mom. Oh, quiet down. You don't want to disturb the dear twins. Sounds yeah. like the nice little doggy of yours is famished. They Please seem like the type. Go fetch him his dog food. They seem like the type to uh, abuse animals. No dice. Right, dog food. Locked door, there's the dog food. Oh, there's our dad, not gonna let us out till we've had our dinner. Creaking, a lot of creaks. Their locked door. A beautiful house in the cultural heart of Victorian London. Two loving and caring parents. What could children want more? Apparently, <laughs> what they desire most is freedom. Freedom from bedtimes and chores. Hey, freedom chuck to the plan. Wild with no one to hold them back. Nice. We're about to see what happens when two adorable children snap. <laughs> Skeleton key for all the doors. Chuck the plant, though. Nice, uh, oh, there we go. Maniac Mansion reference. Next time, more devious. So, yeah, so she got pretty badly hurt, but floorboards are loose there. Not hurt enough, I suppose. Turned off that light. We can 
push this. There's somewhere we needed to jump that we didn't have. Uh, we need to get this floorboard taken care of somehow. We have the fuse. Dumbwaiter works, I guess. We do anything with Chuck the plant? Give it some radioactive water or some Pepsi? <laughs> the plant looks refreshed. Feed it a meteor, perhaps. It's up here, by the way. Uh, cousin gonna be in there? Please don't touch the soup, loves. You might burn your delicate little hands. No. There we are. Oh, hammer. There we go. Hammer down that floorboard. Oh, this is, this is the bathroom. Yeah, this one's gonna get dark. Darker than I feel like setting a uh, carnival on fire does. He did warn us, the cave. Not the most practical layout. <laughs> So we have to jump and climb on. There we are. And we keep pushing this. Ouch! There goes <laughs> the fine china. We. Ooh! There goes the broken china. <laughs> you have ten minutes to move your cube. We're not going that way. Are we going that way? We're not going that way. Okay. Pull it back. Definitely make that jump. Anything left to break in there at this point? Can't fit it over. Oh, can't fit it over that. <laughs> While mom's making soup, we're just being little Hellraiser. Deviants. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. A couple deviants building the fort. Let's say. Alright, there we go. Raising that. To the second floor, I guess. Where does that put it? I keep forgetting. front door. Hmm. Need the key for that? I don't understand what. 
Maybe I just could have taken the elevator in general. Uh, or not. Well, I guess maybe on that bottom floor. Didn't just have to use it to move furniture around. Or broken china. In a box. This was the pet food I can't get to yet. Starting to learn the layout a little bit. I heard upstairs. I'm sure it's fine. Alright, let's just get this out of the way for a second. Can I take this? You should move to the country. go. Now we can get mom and dad's room. Chamber pot. Something we needed a chamber pot for. Uh, we can get up there if we move the, uh, the box properly. I guess I could fill it up with hot water. Okay. And we've got some hot water. We can give it to uh, the plant, I guess. Right. That will go up now. Make sure it goes all the way up. There it goes. Can't convince me there would be any water left in that the way we're jumping around by the time we get up to the top, but we'll see. It's on the third floor. There she is. We could push this over to the left now. Nice. Now we can make this jump. You want any, uh, super hot water chuck to plant? I guess you're just in the game for fun. Just a nice little kooky nod. Mmm, the smell of rotting sewage floating in the Thames. Thick industrial smoke choking the air, and horse manure piled high on every street corner. Ah, oh, it must be springtime in London. Drop this down there. Put out whatever fire. I'd make a Mary Poppins joke right now, except that it's not in the public domain. <laughs> and I don't want to get sued. Again. Yes, now we can go anywhere. We got full reign of the castle. <laughs> the house. Feels like a castle. Well, the twins have the run of the house now. <laughs> what kind of mischief will they get into next? Is there anything I need a key for up here? I guess not. We get the dog food. Get into here. What was in here? Bookshelf? Look, I don't want to stereotype here, but has there ever been a set of twins <laughs> that weren't evil? Any twins watching? Rat poison. All right, well, that's certainly kicking it up a notch. Yeah, this is going to get dark. Dad has no idea. Dog food. We have now reached oh. the grimmest part of our grim story. For that small box shoved into the corner is the ticket out of this house for the twins. 
Let's watch, shall we? <laughs> if you dare. It certainly puts setting a carnival on fire in perspective. Stop your barking. You Some know dinner. How much the twins hate that barking. I don't really see anywhere else I can go to get down to that bottom area. Is there anywhere we missed up on this side? Can I go down and around? Get a bone. Place of our shovel. Dogs like bones, right? Let's get a monk memory, why not? Lack of focus. Everybody else is having no problems catching the flies and the chopsticks. Ana Miyagi like spent his whole life trying to do it and he... Okay. Stop your barking. Stop your barking. Alright. Steam is off, twins. You can now poison your entire family. You can now kill everyone in your life. You have a green light. Rat poison. <laughs> you know, if one were to examine this box of rat poison carefully, the instructions would read, One small thimbleful added to food will cause intense, horrifying, and excruciating death. Side effects include tingling, blurred vision, occasional dryness of the mouth, and getting to go outside and play. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, oh, this soup is for us, not the rats. Oh, go play with that rat poison somewhere else. <laughs> play with the rat poison. I mean... I'm not saying the parents are asking to be killed, but, you know, you should be a little more involved in your kids' lives. That's all I'm saying. What do we got going on over here? Oh. Alright, well anyway. Is that like a Bill and Ted thing? Maybe don't let your kids play with rat poison. That's all I'm trying to say. Is there another memory over here? Oh. Just more switches, I guess. You should move to the country. Oh, hold on. You don't want to upset the twins. Oh my the god. Oh jeez. And it smells delightfully delicious. Why don't you two darlings go wash up for dinner? Don't take too long or we might start without you. <laughs> might end without me too. Doing as they're told? <laughs> the twins might be turning over a new leaf. <sighs> You see, Damn. this is why I never had kids. Well, that and being a cave with no real form of reproduction. But that's beside the point. The point is, the twins... Well, I don't know if there is a point to their madness. <laughs> but they may find their newfound freedom comes at a cost greater than they're capable of imagining. That's and as with the rest of our travelers, and perhaps even you, I guess only time will tell. Yeah. Shall we continue our journey? It's been so enlightening thus far. Ooh, I can't wait to see what happens next. Monk's turn. As soon as we get out of here. He puts a positive spin with that voice on anything. Forget about all the horrors we just witnessed. Uh. Uh. I'm not sure what's up with this thing. Different uh, character type, maybe you could do that. Maybe the time traveler. Maybe they're the only ones. Maybe you can only access certain things with very specific configurations. This is just very rare. Things stowed here or there. So if you play with the twins and have the time traveler, then you can do that. But anyway. Alright. 
on to the final part. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and comment on this video, and click subscribe if you haven't already, as this seriously helps me to keep making great content for you.